Hello, my name is Allison Wood with Port Townsend Sales. Today we're going to be talking about your furling line. Making sure your furling line is properly loaded on the drum to bend on a roller furling pencil. today with our demo furling system to discuss your furling line. We are using the Schaefer today as our demo. We have a number of preferred furling systems. Feel free to call our loft if you want to discuss the pros and cons of each. But for this demo purpose, just to discuss your furling line, we'll be using the Schaefer system. We're going to discuss the... We're going to discuss your furling line and how you use it to pull, to retract your sail, furl or reef your sail, and how you ease it. You're gonna pull your sheets and ease your furling line when you're setting your sail. But again, when you're retracting, furling, or reefing your sail, you will be pulling your furling line. And we wanna make sure it's loaded correctly for the side your UV cover is on your sail. Okay, so we're down at the boat and we are looking at the furling drum and we are double checking what side our UV cover is on our sail. In this case, we have a starboard cover. So when I check this drum, I wanna make sure it's fully loaded before the sail is on. There's no sail on the furling system because if I need to add wraps or if I need to switch the direction the line is pulling, I need to be able to do that. You're, this will not spin freely if your sail is attached. Spin freely for applying the draw, applying the furling line. Um, so in this case, I have a starboard side cover. I am double checking that when I pull this furling line, my system is spinning counterclockwise. Right? Can everybody picture that as my sail is loading on? that starboard side is facing out. And that's where that UV protection needs to be. So again, if I need to wrap for a starboard cover, I am spinning it clockwise so that when I pull this furling line to furl, reef, load up the sail, this is spinning counterclockwise. So as you're loading your furling line, you want to make sure that there is enough line leading back to the cockpit and making sure there's enough line to accept all your sail. Your sail's bent on, we're furling it up. And at this point, your sail should be fully furled with a few wraps around the clue of your sheets for safety. But there still should be a number of wraps left on the drum. This is for ease of getting started with furling. You're not fetched up on the knot at the very end that's gonna put stress and chafe on the line itself and also make it really hard to get that first furl started. So you wanna make sure there's a few wraps on that drum still with your sail fully loaded and with a few wraps of your sheets for safety around the clue. Now, if, the if your UV cover is on the port side of the sail, when you pull this furling line, you want your drum and furling system to spin clockwise. Can you picture that? Then you're the port side of your sail will be facing out, and that's where your UV protection is. So, port side cover, when you pull the furling line, your system should be spinning clockwise. So same applies. If I need to load this drum up for a port side cover, I want to load the furling line while spinning counterclockwise. And again, I'm holding light tension on that furling line to hopefully put some 
nice smooth wraps on the drum that'll make furling easier. And now I'm ready to attach the sail for a port side cover. Thank you for joining us today. Please check out our other video where we bring you on board to complete the Bindon experience. Link is in our bio.